So this question says that if a is equal to 5 square root 2 and 2a equals square root of 2x, what is the value of x? So this question again is a single line which tells me that I'm probably going to need to simplify. So again, most questions that are between one and three lines long require simplification. So looking at what I have here, I know what a is and I know what 2a is, and I'm asked what x is. Well, how do I combine these things? Because x is only present in the second equation, um, and I, don't, I can't solve this if I have two unknown things, but honestly, I do know what a is. So let's take this second equation, my 2a equals root 2x, and I'm going to take this 5 root 2 and replace a with it, right? Because a is equal to 5 root 2. So this question becomes like a substitution type of question. So instead of 2a, I have two parentheses 5 root 2, because 5 root 2 is a given to us in the question, is equal to root 2x. So now all that's left is to simplify and isolate x to get my answer. So 2 times 5 root 2 is 10 square root 2 is equal to square root of 2x. If I want to get x out of the square root there, I'm going to square both sides because that's how we remove radicals. So 10 square root 2 squared is the same as 10 squared times root 2 squared which would be 100 times 2, which is the same, of course, as 200. And then the square root of 2x just becomes 2x. So I'd have 200 equals 2x. Again, dividing by 2 on both sides, I get x equals 100. So that is our final answer.